Hey, welcome to the Quilting Compound. I'm Jamie, and today I've got two panels. One is complete, one just needs the binding. A new scrap idea for next year to bring the new year in. And I'm going to share the two gifts. I think they're six and seven. Uh, the recipients of those and I've got two more to share and that will be number eight and nine but first this is a completed another panel so this is another panel that I've got sewn together and yes I quilted it myself and uh, it's still a work in progress but um and I use the same binding. If you watch my uh, what, snowman panel, I use the same binding. And these are trucks. And I've got cardinals for one border. And then this green border kind of, it's a real small one. I think I went two and a half, four and a half, and six and a half. And I want to tell you this, the two and a half border fabric that I used was a gift from a quilt teacher back in um, maybe 2004. So I'm really trying to use it up and this is the back. It's just part of the front and you know, a coordinating uh, pieces. So let's see. So this is the back. So this is another completed panel. I know last video, I, uh, I didn't, I was off on showing everything. So I'm trying to work on that. Um, hopefully this will be a gift and they won't look real close at my quilting. Um, so in the next panel I did, this is a panel palooza here. Uh, I did this a long time ago. If you got to see any of my uh, other videos back a while back, I showed this panel uh, I used um, the three yard quilt books for the for the pattern and in the center I just put panel pieces in instead of um, maybe I think it calls for a solid block and if I get the chance I will put the three yard book that this came out of so this is a um, like construction, it's got tools, and let me see, did I have it upside down? Yeah, I have it upside down. So, this is also going to be a gift for uh, a young, young man, little boy, um, because if I'm going to make them, I might as well give them away, if I can get this straight here. Let's see here. So you can see like the wrenches here and the clamps there. And this says work zone. So I put all those in the center and then along the side, um, I ran other, it was a, just strips of the panel. So I ran it halfway down or maybe three fourths and then I connected it with a gray, and there is a gray in the panel. Uh, what I'm gonna bind it with is either gonna be a brown, or if I can find any more of this blue that I have here, I'm gonna go back and look through my scraps and see if there's enough left. If not, it's gonna be a brown um, batik, because this is a batik. You know, I don't know what all y'all can see because I don't have my glasses on, so maybe, oh, now I can see. So, this is what is all in this pan. See, there's work boots and uh, saw blades. and So, all this stuff on this. And I just used the, the pattern from the three-yard uh, quilt book. And so, that's another idea for you. If you have those books and panel pieces you don't know what to do with, uh, some of those books have nine and a half inch blocks. So you can take the blocks from a panel and insert it in those quilts and there you go. So that is my panels 
And then I wanna show you an idea for the new year. What I have for you the new year is, is for you to use up all the scraps that you used last year and make a calendar. This is a jar quilt calendar. So you can see January with the mittens and the snowflakes. Then you see February with my uh, hearts and then uh, March with the uh, shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day and Easter. And then of course, you know, on and on. I really couldn't find, somebody's trying to sneak up here on me. Uh, I couldn't find a whole lot to do for August. So I just put vegetables because that's when your garden uh, comes in a lot. And then in Kentucky, we have the Derby. So that's for May. So uh, this is another idea on how you can use your scraps. Do you want to come in and say something? Y'all want to see my husband? He's finally going to show his face. There he is. I got an idea. There he is. So Let's this go. is, uh, and he is in a hurry, but uh, he will be okay. So uh, next. So that is my idea for you to use some scraps up and do a jar quilt. And if you need any instructions on how to do a jar quilt, go look at my first ever video. It's that. I use the same measurements, same pattern. I just used uh, scrap fabric from that time, uh, that month, that holiday, whatever coincided with that month. So my next thing, what I wanna do is, because I'm being rushed here, is I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winner for gift number six. And gift number six is a panel, it's five inch squares and one yard of fabric. And that is gonna go to Maria Foley. Maria Foley, 6227. So you can email me at thequiltingcompound at gmail.com. So Maria Foley, you are the gift recipient for number six. So just give me an email. I'm gonna get these out as soon as I can. I know this is Christmas and it's probably not gonna to get to you before Christmas, but it'll be something you can use for next year. So number seven is one panel, one yard, one half yard and two fat quarters goes to this right here goes to Annette Ellis, 4118. Annette Ellis, 4118 for number seven. Again, email me at thequiltingcompound at gmail.com. And then for gifts number eight and nine, this is what I will be giving away, and I will announce the winner of this, hopefully by next Thursday, I hope. So what I would like for you to do is comment which um, gift that you like the best, number eight and nine, and I'm gonna already show them to you, and then I want you to tell me if you would rather machine or hand bind. Since I have a binding to do on this panel quilt still yet, tell me what you prefer, what you like to do the best. I'm gonna tell you, I would rather machine bind, but I want you to tell me what you like to do. So number eight is, it's a table runner kit, gather together. You're gonna get this and you're gonna get another half yard of fabric. I haven't decided which half yard yet, it's gonna be a surprise when you get it. Uh, did I say yard of fabric? I am gonna decide uh, which I'm gonna give you. To be honest, I'm really, um, I should have looked at it to see what it needs, but I'm gonna send you an extra yard just in case maybe you don't like the fabrics that are in this kit. And I'm gonna show you what they look like. So. This is a table runner gathered together and I'm gonna send an additional yard with it. So that is number eight. Number nine is a 
uh, teapot cozy and mug rugs. It, this is the whole complete kit because I was going to learn how to um, uh, applique and I just don't think I'm ready to do that right now, but somebody else might be. So this is what you'll get. The little koozie, cozy for teapot and mug rugs, or you can use it however you want. And I will also be adding an additional yard of fabric with this too, um, or maybe even a panel. So this is number nine. So tell me which one you like. The table runner plus a yard or the teapot cozy and I will include either a panel or a yard of fabric with this. So just tell me eight or nine and tell me if you prefer to machine or hand bind your quilts or table runners. So that's all I've got for you today. And uh, if I don't see you before Christmas, everybody have a Merry Christmas. And I will come back next week with the winners of eight and nine. And so I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.